girl, welcome back to Glam Life by Meg, where I teach you how to efficiently and glamorously live your very best life. Say hi in the comments if you're new here, it's nice to virtually meet you. Before we get to the good stuff, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this. And don't forget to ring that bell so that you can be notified every single time that I post a video. How much does it cost to raise a child? As my wedding gets closer, my fiance and I are discussing long-term plans. It's pretty common to ask how many children your partner is interested in having, but what is the difference between having one child and eight children? My guess is a lot of money. This made me curious to find out exactly how much it costs to raise a child. The data that I have discovered has ranged from $170,000 to $1.7 million per child. I have even seen other creators giving the numbers of how much they spent on their child in the first year. Everyone has a different answer but how can there be that big of a range? There are many factors that can change how much it costs to raise a child. Where you live plays the largest factor. Different areas of the world have different costs of living, which will have the most dramatic change in numbers. Do you live in a rural, urban, or suburban area? Being a single or two-parent household also has an impact on the numbers. What I have learned is that there is no one-size-fits-all answer. Spend Me Not says that the average cost to raise a child through age 17 in the United States is $233,610. Most of us hope to support our children after the age of 17. Age 18 is usually senior year of high school, which means college application fees, prom, graduation, lots of extracurricular have costs associated with them to make sure that they get into that college that they would like to get into, and then the actual cost of the first semester of college. Not everyone believes that they are responsible for their child's college education. While everyone's situation is different, I would feel rude bringing a child into the world and then as soon as they become an adult, tell them that they are expected to take on massive amounts of debt that could take them decades to pay off, which would drastically change their life. If I am bringing a child into this world, it is my job to make sure that they are equipped with the knowledge to make their own living and have a chance to do so without starting off with a negative net worth. Therefore, I need to take college costs into account. Those costs range significantly based on where they end up wanting to go to college or if they would like to go to a trade school, start a business. The options are endless and I want to make sure that they are prepared for adult life. So if you want to have one child, saving around $300,000 seems like a decent amount to give them a good life and get them started into adulthood on the right foot. If you want to have eight children, the cheaper by the dozen effect comes into play. Instead of paying $2.4 million for those eight children, you will end up paying much less as you can reuse clothing and toys as well as buy food in more economic quantities. I have not been able to find out exactly how much cheaper it becomes. And we won't even get started on talking about inflation and how that will change the costs. So this is where I turn it over to you. Do you think that $300,000 per child is accurate? Leave me a comment letting me know the state or country where you live and how much it costs there. Bonus points if you have children and can share your experience with us. That's it for this video and until next time, stay hydrated sis.